we look forward to working closely with you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. you work here, you look like a Yes. I, I would I can easily be given a red pen uh, if you don't sign this one. So, <laughs> 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 yes, how could he sign you as a leader? Yes. Yes. <laughs> the other way around. It should be the other way around. <laughs> as the Chief Happiness Officer at the Happiness Resource Center based in Nairobi, Kenya. He's also a senior partner in Humphrey and Company LLP, a leading group firm in Kenya. Kiraitu is a commissioner of the Law Reform Commission of Kenya and the chairman of National Oil Corporation of Kenya. He has had an extraordinary career as a lecturer, an advocate of the High Court, a member of parliament, a cabinet minister, a senator, a governor, and the chairman of a boy's title. He's also an author of three books, In the Mind of Politics, published in the year 2000, The Song of My Beloved, a collection of poems published in the year 2006, and Beyond Politics, published in 2021. He is the publisher of the Happiness Journal, a quarterly journal on topical issues on happiness. I like a journal every and world. Before the two points on issues. You see what the newspapers are talking about? They are doing this good happening. Children being born, hot work. But we have the nation telling us the children are being born. And there are some more as well. Honorable Kiraitu, through the Happiness Resource Center's academic program, has been lecturing at different institutions on pursuing happiness and living a more exciting life. So, what, what is happiness? There are so many definitions. In fact, there are probably around 8 billion uh, definitions, give or, uh, give or take. We all have uh, our own. And uh, there really isn't a right or wrong, uh, worse or better definition. Uh, this is really something that is, that is personal. Uh, but a definition is important. Why? Because a definition allows us to um, hold in, to focus on what we want to achieve. I ask my students at the university, what is happiness? And many of them will say, well, it's the feeling that you get when dot, dot, dot. As a matter of fact, they all talk about feelings at the very beginning, and I say, no, no, no. That's not the true definition of happiness. It's so much more than that. If I asked you, what's the definition of the Thanksgiving dinner? You wouldn't say, it's the smell of the turkey. <laughs> no, that's an indication that there's something special going on in the kitchen. It's an indication that dinner's coming. And the happiness feeling that you get is an indication of a much deeper psychological and even, and even neuroscientific phenomenon. If I ask you the definition of happiness and you're getting it correctly, you would say it's a combination of three things. Enjoyment, purpose, and satisfaction. Whether it's the research, market principles, or grassroots efforts worldwide, the pursuit of happiness connects us all. I have met many of my friends and I tell them 
just to make the world famous. I think it's a joke. We don't need to stand in the same way. Everything we do in this world is the only manifesto. It's all here and lovely. You know, happiness. It doesn't matter what you say you are doing. At the end of it, we are seeking happiness. To live a more exciting and happier life, join the Happiness Club now. Contact us via phone number 0798891612 or via email thehappinessjournal1 at gmail.com.
drive this one and it's very useful in drive. Uh, yes. Not just yes, yes, yes. This yes and no. Life is good and bad, day and night. So all these things go together. Happiness and sadness. There's no life which is continuously happy. Uh, there's a mixture of the two. Uh, no life is called is continuously sad. There's also a mixture of of the two. So a life is both happy and sad. But in life we focus more on the negatives. Uh, that's why you had me the video. When you look at the very nation, we publish only the pictures of those who have died. We, we don't have a page showing us the children who have been born that day. Yeah, because our minds are wired towards negativity. We yeah, have very low focus on positivity. Now, in psychology, Traditional psychology also focuses on the negative human experience. It focuses on psychological soreness and anxiety, on stress, and whatever. And they come to only one aspect of human life. And that's why positive psychology has come, so that we can uh, you know, shine the light on the degraded, brighter side of life. Um, so we are not saying people will not be sad or unhappy, but we also say there's also pressure, there's joy, there's happiness in our lives. And I'll give you my own personal I started my ego practice way back in 1980. And then the farm that time was traveling. Uh, I could not leave my office. I could not go for lunch. Because I was afraid that if I go for lunch, I try to make it come. <laughs> when I was out there. <laughs> For me, he has to in a car on desk, back at you, until darkness, then I come back. My friend, he dies up. So I was. I stayed for three weeks. After I opened my roof up, not a single client walked me at all. He started wondering whether I made mistakes. <laughs> so, why? Anxiety, I couldn't sleep properly. That felt very pain in the stomach. <laughs> but this that came to pass. <coughs> then, over time, we teamed up with a Kinaju Sori Kamau, a Kinari Gera, this big farm Mure was telling you about. And we became one of the biggest straw farms in the country. Very successful. Acting for the high and the mighty. Uh, but again, we couldn't go for lunch. Because these days you are actually your virtual hearings. Those days, all hearings were physical. They want to report our pain. Our opponents have given a list of authorities. Uh, then you are coming back to that. At our Seem for you to go and you know, try to distinguish the authorities, read more. So, uh, you have no time for lunch. So, we became so busy, we decided to buy some bananas to keep in the office. This was our lunch. And over time, you know, you, you eat so much sugar, what happens to you? Yeah, you develop high blood pressure. Uh, diabetes, high blood pressure, all those things. 
very successful, yes, but we are all this. This is this. And uh,
do when people think about employers, they, they see a few of those who are flying high. But they are in the percent who are invisible, who are struggling, for whom life is frustrating and meaningless red milk. You know what they do for you? Yeah, at the night, the man prays that it becomes morning. When the day comes, problems increase. Then he prays for the night to come. Then the night comes. Then he prays for the day. So for him, both the night and day are the same. Even now, people that we can't mention is in preservation. They are looking forward to Monday. Monday comes. That brought me again for Friday. It's a cycle. But I also know some people with good money. But even for those people who look successful, who think they are successful, uh, life can be a vacuum. Full of emptiness, hopelessness, broken dreams. So nobody can really say that they have achieved happiness. There is always some inadequacy. There is some, some worries, something you wanted which are not happened. Uh, you know, I was used to winning elections around here. And the world election for that three years continuously. You know, the Russian. I thought that I would know this game. I was very confident. Even this one, which I lost in 2022, I thought I was going to win. So I no plan B. Because me, I was going to win the elections. I not, I not thought what I would do if I lose. When I lost, it was a shock. And, uh, this, uh... Sorry, let me finish with the Kimero. Yeah, I'm going to go around the to Kamaka Kenny Kadiguru, UN General Assembly, Nakia Twitter Mudanyajua, Tariki, Mirongueri, Yuelatu, Utweka, New Mudanya, Yuagi Kano, Yuandiguru, International Happiness Day. Nantuku Tenamambraya Man in Nairobi, Okongo and Tukuru, we have with the Kuna Women, International Women Day. And together to an international happiness day, the Tariki 20 Murray Velato, Wakayuyu. Now, the Nintongere to Wango, you are your Canada and Kenya, and to Kodivia, Kamaga, Kenya, Kaykano, the Happiness Club of Kenya. I could go to Tongere Tema Brayo, now to Atoma Kant, Kere and to Wango Kenya. Baye, ni kenda tumbo kena tuliamwa. Na ndi kuwa kuwa ya kungu yuru, ndi kuru yonde. E, kwa watu, watu kuwa anga Kenya, kuwa anga wa kuwa anga London, kuwa anga USA, kuwa anga China. Na ni kenda tuliwa tuli, e, mwa ngo yu, yuwa ukena dene, dene ya, ya dunia. E, mbuga ni mpo bakuo. Kwa 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 Twenty, I think that's what I wanted to say. I was saying these days I'm now the chief happiness officer of the Happiness Resource Center. Um, this is a, a social movement for promoting the happiness revolution uh, in the world and we are part of it in Kenya. The, the Happiness Resource Center has three programs. One, we publish the Happiness Journal, where we share information and experiences on happiness. Uh, two, we have an academic program where we, we share 
the ideas of the science of happiness to various communities and academic institutions. We have been to Multimedia University, Mount Kenya University, Kem University. Uh, today we are here at uh, Chuka University. And uh, we are also talking to clubs, like uh, current country club. We have been to, uh, uh, you know, we have been to uh, the Rotary clubs, many clubs around Nairobi. We are talking to some next week. And we are continuing. You saw me talking to businessmen in Meru town about uh, money and happiness uh, last week. We have talked to the youth about the love and happiness. So those things which make people uh, very happy but also very unhappy are the ones we are trying to focus with to see how we can manage them so that we can increase the levels of happiness in our society. Um, we have formed the Happiness Club of Kenya which will be launched on 10th of March at Pan African Hotel in Nairobi and uh, we are going to send invitation cards. At the same day, we will be celebrating the International uh, Happiness Day, which will be being celebrated all over the world. We, for now, we are just doing it in Nairobi because we don't have the resources to take it at the rest of the country. But we hope in the future we will be able to, to reach other places. So, my message to our people, let us take happiness seriously. Happiness is a serious business. It is a universal aspiration of all human beings. And as I was telling students here, you know, happiness is a fundamental human right for every person. So let us strive. Uh, you know, stress. Right. Thank you. Yes,